What's up, Culture Drop? Galen here. This video is about something that does not get talked about enough uh, in the space of leadership and teams and communication and emotional intelligence, and that is receiving feedback like a pro. We talk a lot about giving feedback well, but receiving feedback is like so important. I am 100% convinced with like all of my heart that your ability to receive feedback well, no matter what it is and no matter who it's coming from, is like absolutely clutch to your like success in relationships, your career, your reputation, all of those things. And I'm gonna talk about like how to do it, why it's important, all these things. But like, honestly, anyone coming to you with some feedback, first of all, that you see that feedback as an opportunity. It's not a threat. And the truth is that if somebody's giving you feedback, let's say, let's just use a real example. Let's say somebody on my team comes to me and like, Galen, you're a terrible listener. You never listen to me. It doesn't matter if that's true cosmically. It doesn't matter if I think I'm a good listener. It doesn't matter if everybody else on my team thinks that I'm a fantastic listener. What the reality of that situation is that what this person's telling me is that they don't feel listened to by me. And that is not an impact that I want to have on that person. So instead of the way that I think most people react to it, which is like, what are you talking about? I listen to you, right? To like defend it or deflect it and have my ego show up and be like, no, you don't bruise my fragile ego. It's like, who cares about your ego? When somebody's giving you feedback, this is what you should do with your ego. Take it out back and rage against the machine on it with a baseball bat like the printer scene in Office Space. Your ego is irrelevant and all it does is make you suck at like relationships and emotional intelligence and self-awareness. Somebody telling you that you've impacted them in a way that is not great, the only proper way to respond to that is to be like, first of all, take ownership. I'm sorry that I caused you to feel that way, that I had that impact on you, that's not my intent. But even before that, immediately to be like curious and listen. Getting feedback, even if it's really harsh feedback, is not a time for you to defend or deflect or like have an opinion about it, as opposed to like, tell me more about that. If one of my employees came to me like, Galen, you're a terrible listener, you never listened to me, my immediate response would be like, Tell me more about that. Like, what does that look like? Help me understand what you mean by that, when that happens, what that looks like, so that I can do something about that. Because the reality is that the only person here that can change that experience for you is me. And when it comes to receiving feedback, well, do not put any ounce of energy or effort into changing that person's opinion of you. Put all of your effort into changing that person's experience of you. That is how you receive feedback well, is to be like, hey, let me ask you some questions about that. Be curious, let me understand. And not from a defensive place. I'm not trying to be able to give me an example. And if you can't think of an example, and I'm like, that's not valid. I mean, in a genuine, earnest way, tell me what that looks like. Can you give me an example if you can think of one? I wanna understand that so that I can change that because it's not, this impact that I'm having on you is not what I intend. And it doesn't make me feel proud or good to learn about that. So I'm sorry, take some ownership of that. And also just like, what would it look like if I was a great listener? To receive feedback well in any of your relationships is so important. Imagine for you personally, of the people in your life that cause you the most static, that are like the most difficult and challenging to deal with. If you could know that going to that person directly, right to them and saying exactly how they're impacting you and exactly what you're frustrated about, what, 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 like exactly what the damage is there between your relationship. If you could just say it plain as, as, say it exactly as you mean it, as intended to them, and you could guarantee that that person would respond well, that they would be like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like that sucks to learn about that. Tell me more about that. Where are you coming from? Let me understand that. Let's change that around. Like what can I do to show up differently? How wonderful would it be to heal like every broken relationship and static interaction that you have with somebody else if you knew that they would receive feedback well. It is literally the heart of like, we have a connected, trusting relationship where we actually care about each other's human beings and we care about the experience that we are giving and experience some of each other. Do not overlook this. Your ability as a leader and as a colleague, as a friend in a relationship to receive feedback well is so important. I think on the index of like, does this make you like a great part of a team, a great leader, a great friend, a great human being? Your ability to do that is very high on that list. And it takes a master level of emotional intelligence, of self-awareness to be like, hey, what's important here is not my ego, it's the experience that you're having in this relationship. And because I care about this relationship, I will throw my ego out the side and be like, tell me more about that. Let's change this because this relationship matters to me more than me looking good or saving face or feeling like you think I'm perfect because I'm not perfect. To be vulnerable, to take ownership, to be curious, to listen, to understand, and then change your behavior. As a result of hearing feedback, chef's kiss. Please do that.
Thanks for watching and tuning in. Subscribe to our channel. We put a lot of content on here. You can also subscribe to the Culture Drop mailing list and get these emails in your inbox every Tuesday morning. Follow our social media channels. Uh, put a lot of free content out about just being more awesome and building great teams.